Hello, uh, so what we're going to do now is to try and begin our Citaso Ionic 7 server applications. What we've done is to create a template that we can use. So you go to File, New, and then you go to Citaso Ionic Server. This is the same template as this one, but this is for Citaso Ionic, which basically means that it's using the Citaso Ionic 7 uh, before X library. So you go to Citaso Ionic Server, you select that, and then you specify a project name. Let's call it Citaso Ionic 7 Server 1. You know, and then you click OK to create the project. So it will create a project based on the template that we currently have. So this template here has a couple of pages. And what we need to do is just to sh show in terms of how it works, what it has created. If we go and explore our project, we have a couple of pages. All of these pages, browser account, browser app, browser blank, browser charts, and browser status, a client side um, co code for the application. And this is, info this is running from the server. So, the app name for this is Zitaso Ionic 7 REST API, and then you call it that. And then we initialize our server here. It's going to be running on 55.056. And then, as we know, in any P4J application, the first method is that enters our application is upstart. And then upstart will call banana ready and then this calls up initialize up initialize is a class browser app which is defined here browser app and because we have other pages that we've defined charts status and account we have defined the classes here so to add a page here you go to project more add new model class model standard class yeah and then you say browser let's call it categories to to be safe and then this will create an empty class and then you go there and select browser blank which is just a template for a blank page we're going to copy all of this code here and paste it here and then as our page is categories, we're going to say categories layout. We'll create a layout and call it categories layout. And then that's basically that for now in relation to creating any other page that we do. So as you can see, the prefix of the page is browser and capital letters categories. And then we copy it from the blank template so each and every time you want to add a, pa a page here you need to copy it to the blank from the blank uh, browser page and then after that you're going to have to define it in main so public categories as browser categories because we want this to be accessible anywhere within our application and then what we're going to do to make sure that our application knows about this particular cage, you open browser app. In browser app, there is add pages. So we add this particular page here, main.categories.initialize. As you know, each class in B4J needs to be initialized. So we are initializing that class there. So we don't want this to be added in drawer. We don't want this to be added in page tabs, but if we wanted to, we could add it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run the application as it is now so that you can see in relation to what is going to happen. But before we do that, let's just create this categories layout. And with Banana Server, you are able to create your user interface using the abstract designer. So what is it saying here is that in the page app viewer, append this particular layout so we're going to copy this layout from the blank page layout so open designer 
which is the current page that is there is blank and then we're going to click on file save as file save as we're going to save it as a category layout and then we change this component name to categories it's an iron tab for navigation the page title is categories yeah. and then this is a page this is not a start page so we need to uncheck this because if it's a start page the url path will be for the forward but because of it is not a start page our url path is categories but it will do that automatically so there's no need for us to do that just leave it as that and then we wanted to use the material design mode so for now this is fine let's just leave it as it is connect text okay let's just call it this categories so that we can see that it's actually showing the categories we're going to save this and then our category layout for this particular page is added and then what we need to do because in our page the tab name is categories we just need to change this to be categories this will happen uh, this will be added if you do your uh, generate members so let's just leave this as they are as it is i don't want to add the page and show it in the navigation because i just want you to see in terms of if we run the application now what it will look like so we have these particular pages that we have okay this is underlined red oh it's, it's okay browser app what's with browser app but again it is not used so i can just comment this thing out because it's saying it's not used or just ignore it so we're going to start our application. Our application is going to run on port 55056. Now let's do that. I'll explain the other things as we go along. As we have noted so far, what we have done is to add a new page called browser categories. We went into main, we defined a class, okay, categories, and then we went to the browser app, which is our entry of our application. Excuse me. And then we added this page to the application so that the application know that the page exists. Now, categories initialize. What it does is to call this method here. So it loads the layout, and then it adds, it adds the path of uh, the application. Then it will call build page if there's anything in build page. So Citaso Ionic 7 applications are built this particular way. All of the pages are added at once into the application. And then during navigation, it uses its own internal route for it to navigate through the application. So um, let's run the application. It makes the application to be faster in a way because all the pages are loaded at once in memory. And then what happens when you navigate, it just opens the page. That is different with uh, Citaso Daisy because with Citaso Daisy, the pages are added to the user interface as soon as you navigate to it, making it dynamic by clearing whatever content is there and writing the content of the page. But with this, everything is written once and then it just navigates and that making the application faster. So I will explain to you in terms of the happenings that are happening uh, about the application itself internally so our server oh, we have a problem here it's saying that the build is cancelled because objects folder is write protected so what we need to do we need to go to the the folder itself where our project is it's in workspace and it's in citaso ionic server one it's inside there it's saying our ww folder is right protected so let's just select the objects folder as it is and just make everything there not read only so 
Let's apply that so that it's not read only. And then as soon as it's finished, we write our application again. So we usually do this once when you create a project. Uh, so let's do this again. Let's run it. Our application as it is at the current moment is a three-page application. It has a navigation menu, it has a toolbar, uh, and then it has a tab bar at the bottom for uh, navigating through the application. You will see it just now. So it's building our application, so there's no longer that cancel that you saw here previously. So what we're going to do is to wait until it finishes compiling. Uh, we're using the latest version of Banano Experimental, which is Banano 8 to 6. The Banano server that we're using is 819. Uh, and then using Citaso Ionic 123. Uh, you get the update and the download when you get Citaso Ionic 7. So we're compiling our application now. And as soon as it's finished, we're going to copy the link to open the application and open it in our browser. And then we'll take a look in relation to how the layouts actually look, you know, because the layouts for this application are here. The main layout that gets loaded when the application starts is this one, which is the indexed layout. This layout is composed of a menu. It's in material design mode. The content ID is this up page, which is the iron page. You know, and we have decided that this menu should have a header or no header. And then it has content and it has a list. The, the list will, will add our navigation items to it. And then this is the root component where all of our pages will sit in. Okay, let's see the compilation. How far is this? Okay, still doing it. And then the status page. The status page is an iron tab with a button. Then we said the parent ID of the button is the status content because in our iron tab, we're saying that it must have content. It has content and because our page name is status, so this content will be status content. Then it has content text. So, if you've been using Citaso Ionic already, then you will be familiar with this uh, functionality here of how to place elements within parents. You don't do it very often in relation to specifying the parent ID because the system will pick it up. Okay, it's finished compiling our application. So we copy the link. And then what we do in our browser, we open our link. You'll forgive me of the background noise. And then we open our application and it's starting Citaso Ionic 7. Let's do a control refresh. So that we clear the cache that's storing our application and then that's it. So as you can see here, the first page of our application is status. So we have a tab bar here, status, charts, profile. As you can see, it's navigating. We've used the material design specifications here. So that's why you see it like this. You can also use the iOS design, which will make the application look like iOS. So this is the main menu you selected. Go to profile, it shows profile. You can navigate to charts. As you can see here, you'll see that this changes. See charts, account, profile, 
status which is the root so our route navigation is actually working because as soon as we change we see that our path changes so you can go back here profile we can go back here so we can also view this thing as a mobile device view deliver developer options and then we go to mobile view and then our application we can see how it will look like on a mobile device so tap navigation at the bottom as you can see the parts are changing there and also changing here charts profile and when you click a button you can navigate so let's look in terms of how everything else came into being here so you can see it's finalized an application that is running it will run on the server and then one will just have to get the link for it so let's look in relation to how our starting page would defined and all of the things so this is the root page and then the status page which is this root page of our application is on browser status so what we're saying there is we initialize the page and then we load the status page uh, layout and then uh, as soon as the bnt charts button is click go to the charts page so the layout itself is organized uh, like this let's open it this is the layout status layout make sure that the name balances back it matches the name of your page because this is the name that will be used for the page and the application as a whole this is an iron tab uh, the road path is that but because this is a start page we need to just to select that this is the start page of the application so you can make any application a start page of the application but you need to make sure that there's just only one and then it's material design and we're saying that it has a menu button and it has content and then it shows my status that is why you see my status here but then what we've also done is to add a button there bnt charts so that button is there it's sitting inside the content of that page because the page as you can see now it has a header it has a menu button in the left button it has a title it has a content then what actually happens now is when you click the bnt charts then it runs this particular code here that goes to that particular uh, page it shows the charts page so that is what is happening in relation to our page here you know so we run our application we create the pages that we need we run our application and everything works perfectly in relation to everything that is here so there you have it we have just started to master our banano server applications with sister so i need so the add pages add the pages to the application the add browser items it makes sure that the browser items as you see here in the navigation i added this is using the icon that is specified for each of the things and then the page tabs the page tabs is this bottom navigation here so what it is doing is to get the information about that particular page and add the page to the tab bar which is what you see here and that is why you are able to navigate and that is why you are able to navigate here so we have created a simple application with three pages and you can create any components in relation to this just like uh, you see in the demo of the Tasso ionic 7 and everything will work so there you have it um, in our next section we will look in terms of how do we add crude functionality to this application and also make it to do database writes we'll use pocket base as a, as, a, as a start and then we'll see in terms of how to use other back ends so that is that you'll have the new template in the next update of citaso ionic 7 and then we can see how we take things forward all right thank you and again i'm sorry for the background noise 
uh, we have this going. Thanks.